If you've driven along California Avenue near the Maya Cinemas, you've probably noticed an empty lot. Well, 23 ABC's Gracie Aguilar tells us what city officials plan to do with that empty space. Gracia. Well, Tim, a nonprofit organization wants to buy the property and build offices in that location. But the majority of the council wants to weigh their options for what should be built there instead. And that 5.5 acre corner lot on PNQ Streets across from Maya Cinemas has been vacant for a few years now. As part of the Mill Creek Vision Plan approved in 2005, an entertainment complex was to be built there, including a movie theater and multifamily homes. Most of the plan is complete or in process. The remaining land was intended to be retail restaurants to complement Robo Bank Arena and Convention Center and the other facilities nearby. But most recently, Kern Healthcare Systems approached the city, showing interest in building an office complex. Councilmember Bob Smith wants the Planning and Development Committee to examine the pros and cons for the property. I'm all for having more public discussion and, and having staff time to work on it, and, and maybe we can work out a compromise where it's half and half. Or you know, I just I just don't want to just ram through something that that is not consistent with what we've told the community for a number of years now. But Council Member Terry Maxwell says it's not necessary to move the issue to the committee. It's something the council can decide on their own. And then when they're done working with those people to come back to us and tell us what they have and look, look to us for that approval. Uh, if if it, we render that uh, there are some things that, that need to be questioned about it, uh, that need to be gone over, then we can send it to a committee. Uh, I don't think that's going to be the case here. The city did a tax analysis comparing an office building to a commercial building. If restaurants or retail stores were built on the property, the city would get about $100,000 in sales tax revenue and about $24,000 in property taxes. It would also create 118 new jobs. If the city sold the property to Kern Health Care Systems, the city would not receive sales tax revenue nor property tax revenue and no new jobs would be created. And the council did pass a motion to send this issue to the Planning and Development Committee to be heard on April 5th. In studio, Grecia Aguilar, 23ABC.